Hi, I'm Brett Stacker. I'm a senior investigator with the investigation unit of the Transport Safety Regulation Area. Um, here, we're here today for an operation in relation to load restraint. Uh, we have some issues where the loads aren't restrained. They pull the side curtains, the soft side, as you can see on this truck here. Um, they just pull them across, uh, thinking that they're load restrained. And in most cases, these sort of curtains aren't load restraint um, compliant. Okay, with this particular load, um, as you can see, there's different sorts of loads on here. There is major issues with the load restraint. Um, there's, there's none there in some parts and insufficient in others. Yep, we've opened up the back, and yep. as you can see, there's got pallets of papers. Yep. There's no restraint to stop this load from coming backwards. We'll have a look in a minute from the side, and you'll see that there's no restraints for side as well. This, the, pallet, the top pallet here, you can see, has actually moved on top of the, the, the bottom pallet, so the load has shifted, which it's not supposed to do. There's no restraint actually holding the pallet to the truck. There is a strap here, but all it's doing is holding the gate to the truck. It goes over the top of the load. So this, these pallets aren't restrained. The issue with this part here is that the kegs, although they appear to be restrained, when you push them, move. They're unrestrained, which now makes the top uh, load uh, liable to fall down. Okay, when this truck was pulled up, pulled back the side curtains, had the gates up, and these load, load restraints weren't on there. Um, so it meant that these, this load here could move. Uh, they're not even on pallets, it's on what's called dunnage. If it hit the, the uh, brakes hard or had to stop in a hurry for some reason, that can actually slip forward. So now we have a unit that weighs probably, according to the manifest, 100 kilos each, just moving around on the floor. The idea behind chain responsibility is to find out where the breaches are occurring. Um, under the previous legislation, it was always the driver or the operator that got um, got got fined or sent to court or whatever. Um, the chain of responsibility, now we actually have a look up the chain, so we'll have a look at not just the driver, but the operator, the manager, the um, distribution centres, the consignors, the consignees, and we'll find out where the breach is, is occurring. So that the driver might not have been educated in relation to load restraint, is what we're dealing with today. So we'll go back to his boss and um, as such, find out what, what's been put in place by the company to, to make the company compliant.